through Friday, Sacktown Sports. Are you ready for the 49ers and the Jets tonight? 49ers kicking off the season after this difficult, challenging offseason. There was just a piece at ESPN.com today from Nick Wagner about the emotional toll, the physical toll, the financial toll it's taken on this team. Coming so close four times in the last five years. Are they ready to go tonight against the Jets? And what the heck are the Jets? What can we expect from Aaron Rodgers on the Jets? We'll find out tonight, Drapes. Yeah, I'm fired up for this one, man. And, you know, it, usually I, I'll be honest, I'm not fired up for Niners football like everybody else. What? No, yeah, because, man, I got kids, I got things going on. Like, literally, today I'm getting ready, and I'm like, what should I do with the kids tonight? Maybe we'll go to the gym. Maybe we'll go play pickleball. And I was like, oh, yeah, damn. The Niners are playing at, you know, 520 or 15 or whatever it is. And so those plan, I got to watch that game. But the fact that it's against Aaron Rodgers and the Jets makes it even that much better. Like, let's say the Niners opened up against Carolina. I might just be looking at the uh, Cliff Notes version of that game. Mm -hmm. Not like appointment, but this is a massive game. You know, uh, you got Aaron Rodgers, you got the Jets. A lot of people are high on. And so this is one of those where I even thought about maybe I should take the kids to a sports bar. Or something mm. like that. Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner somewhere. Be out there in the atmosphere with fans just to watch this game tonight. Yeah, you just take off right after the show, pick up the kids. You probably you could make it down to Levi's. No, I, I, I don't think they want to go ever again. Like ever again? <laughs> that was my daughter's first football game, man. I had to go get some napkins and towels for her nosebleed and everything. Oh, it was. Uh, no, nice. I'm joking. I'm yeah. joking. But yeah, that high up. Yeah, we, yeah, we we were we were up there, but. uh my son has become a Niners fan. I, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. It's like, I'm like, dude, Eagles, fly, Eagles, fly. But he's his own man. I let him choose, you know. And so the thing about my son, you guys tell me this real quick. Yeah, the Niners are the top team. <laughs> you guys tell me this. My son is 15. He's had three different favorite football teams. Sounds like his dad. <laughs> Is that, that acceptable, Jay? Far. Is that acceptable? He's it, at the point now. He's got to. He's got to land on the one, right? Peace. Yeah, I, and I don't know what what he's going to land. He used to be a Chiefs fan. Not a Chiefs fan I'm glad anymore. He's not. not anymore. Used to be a Patriots fan. I don't think he is anymore. Now he's a Niners fan. Well, it's because he's feeling like that's my team because this is my home. That yeah, type of thing? yeah, maybe. That's, yeah, because we bounced around. You know what I mean? We moved right, around. And right. So, right. Yeah, and so maybe uh, I need to find out are the, if the Niners is his team. Stick with it, Big Bell. I'm not going to be mad at him. Do it, you know? Choose what you want to choose. But if Detroit wins the Super Bowl, don't be a Lions fan all of a sudden. Like he's bouncing around too much. Have you given him your Brock Purdy jersey yet? No, <laughs> I thought about bringing that in for you today. Actually, game oh, day and everything. Yeah, yeah, I still got that thing. I just don't know what to do with it, man. Like seriously, that's a nice jersey. Give it, it to your son. Yeah, uh, man, I, I'm not going to let him wear Brock Purdy jersey. Not around me, Jay. Not going to influence it. Nah, okay. nah, nah. He, he, you know, and if he wants a Brock Purdy jersey, he got to spend his own damn money. I'm not giving. I'm not giving him a Brock Purdy. See, jersey. if you so. wanted him to root for someone other than the Niners, given that he's a teenager, that's probably the sharpest way you could ensure that he won't. Really, you know, it's like. Hi, I'm, I'm your dad. Root for the 49ers, right, son. Right. You know, he's 13. He's going to be like, no, I'm not going right. to my dad wants yeah, to do. Exactly. Well, I told you, we were at the uh, at, at the uh, team shop there down at Levi Stadium, and uh, he wanted to buy a jersey, and I told him there's only one jersey you can buy, and that's Brandon Ayuk. Everybody else, CMC, uh-uh, Purdy, nope, uh, Bosa, uh-uh, that ain't happening. And uh, we walked out of there without a jersey. Huh. We didn't do it. It's the only jersey he's allowed to buy. You mentioned uh, Christian McCaffrey listed as doubtful tonight. Mm. Uh-oh. Mm. Should we be worried if we're 49er fans? Doubtful. Doubtful is pretty. Achilles. Yeah, that's pretty. I, I think you should be worried, right? Yeah, uh, Doubtful. There is no more probable. They don't have that anymore. It, it's, it goes what? Questionable to doubtful, right? Yeah. Questionable, doubtful, or you're playing. Right. Yeah. And he does have a little something-something. I don't know. Are you worried about it, Jay? See, the thing is. I saw this, and the national media talks about he's listed as doubtful. I haven't seen or heard one iota of an indication from anybody inside 49er media that this is a concern. Not one. Nothing. So I'm not concerned, Jay. Should I be? Is he doubtful be? or questionable? 
got him as doubtful as of yesterday. Really? Right? Yeah. Oh, no, excuse me. He was questionable. questionable. All right. He was questionable. I wrote down. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Because uh, there's Talanoa. a big difference. Right? Yeah. Talanoa yes. Hufunga is doubtful. Yes. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. That's on me. Yeah. I, questionable. I'm not worried today, but I'm, I'm going to fall in the Draper train on this. I don't. The next two or three weeks keep saying you're questionable. And, you know, we see mm-hmm. that pace slow down or some sort. Then come week seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm a little worried down the road, but not mm-hmm. for today. The other reason I don't think there's cause for concern is if he had any nagging injury right now, like, you know, they kill his little tender, they just wouldn't play him now. You don't think so? Because they need him in the playoffs. If he, if they thought there's a chance he's going to tear something now, they would sit him out until it got better because they definitely can't afford to have him blow it out in week two or three or one, and then that would almost ruin their whole season. Yeah, I, I think I need to see him and what kind of workload he has tonight. You know, uh, Shanahan has already talked about IU probably won't play his uh, normal amount of snaps. Like, is CMC, you know, going to share some time with Mason out there? Maybe he doesn't play as much. Because uh, to your point, Whitey, an Achilles, you can't mess with that. You right. know, it's like you, you just can't mess with that. And the fact that he's questionable. I say it's hogwash. They know he's playing. Like, why Why do? Because you got to do something with him. He does have a calf injury. Well, so, like, we can't say probable, which is what they used to do. Yeah, used to. He's going to play, so he's not doubtful, to your point. Yeah. So he's questionable. He's questionable. But nobody, you know, as, as alarming as that appears, no one anywhere near the right. 49er circle is going, yeah, right. watch right. out. He's yeah. not playing tonight. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm not as concerned right now. I need to see him out there see his workload and to your point i don't think they're going to run him out there if he can blow something in game one like it just doesn't make sense so i'm not too worried christian mccaffrey is tied with marshall falk most games with a rushing and receiving touchdown in the same game 15 he's Mm -hmm. tied so if he gets next game where he gets a rushing touchdown and receiving touchdown he will stand alone no he's 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 the he's the real deal you know he's the best player on the team he he's the guy He's the guy that really makes it all go, I think, for the Niners. Brock is great. Brock Brock does his thing. But CMC opens up everything for that team. You got to scheme for Christian McCaffrey. You got to keep an eye. His play action, come on now. How, how devastating is that? And so, you know, we talk about which players they can afford to lose. Obviously, Trent. Obviously, Brock. After that, CMC is right up there. And I know Jory Mason can fill in and, and be okay, but CMC is the one guy, you know, at the top of the list when it comes to the skill positions that strikes fear in the opponent's heart. Yeah, because he's one guy, but he's like two guys. Right. He's a receiver right. and he's a running back. Yes. Um, by the way, he also, let's see, with this next receiving touchdown, Christian McCaffrey would join the 50 rushing touchdown, 30 receiving touchdown club. The only other member of that, 50 30, is. Marshall Falk, but Marshall Falk has like a hundred rushing. Touchdowns. Right, right. Marshall his Falk is incredible. His well, is, great yeah, show it's is amazing. It, yeah, his is insane. And you know, I I don't think CMC got the due that he deserved. I know he was coming off injuries in Carolina, but for the Niners to swing a trade for him and get him, mm-hmm. that's highway robbery. Like that changed the whole trajectory of where the franchise was. You go back and look it up. Maybe you remember at the time, there were a lot of outlets that said, oh, bad trade for the mm-hmm. 49ers. Mm-hmm. It really put the 49ers back on the map. Yeah. Look at the numbers. Look at the win-loss. Look at the quarterback play uh, with CMC out there. And the dude, uh, kudos to him, man. He's playing the best ball of his career. He's an MVP candidate year in and year out. And uh, I- I'm, I'm excited to watch him play. I mean, he just c- constantly runs so hard. He's so hard to bring down, always keeps the legs moving. It, it, it was a steal for the Niners. Farmer Bleasy 22 on the chat. Good on you, Drapes, for letting yeah. your son pick his teams. My pops tried to force me into being a Pats fan. Worked for a while, but I'm back where I belong with the faithful. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, if you try to get him to become yeah. a 49er fan, he will not be. He will one. not. huh? Maybe I, I know I should just show up wearing a Brock Purdy. What's up? Yeah, let's <laughs> cheer on our Niners. Yeah. He'd be like, this is not cool, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. I was the best rookie quarterback of the day. Wasn't even Ooh. close. That's next. Sackdown Sports. 
Hello? Hey, it's Ted from Consumer 